All right. Yay. It's another day of character, good character on the hill, Forest Hill Elementary School. How exciting. How amazing. Another day that you get to be great and you get to learn. You know, every day we face choices and we've been talking about making good choices, making the right choices so the classroom can go well, PE can be nice, the bus can be peaceful. I mean, making the choice to be peaceful, making the choice to be friendly, making the choice to be kind, making the choice to forgive, making the choice to share, just making choices so we don't end up with consequences that are not good. We want to stay out of trouble. We want to be our best self. So we we want to make good choices. You know, I was talking to some kids the other day and I told them, listen, you know, at school you have to obey. You know, well, you don't have to, but you're supposed to, right? I mean, you're supposed to obey the rules of the school. And so we started talking about rules and I'm like, rules, everywhere you go, there are rules. And then I told them, we're at school. We're not at your house. So a house, house is one way, school is another way. And you have to know the rules of the classroom and the rules of the school. You have to know them and then you get to make the choice to obey. So we're going to kind of re review some rules. You know, we're going to talk about what it means to obey. We're going to talk about what that looks like. And we're going to use some students to do it. So I'm really excited about that. Let's get going talking about the choice to obey. Awesome. You know, one thing I tell students is that you've got your house rules and you've got your school rules. And sometimes, usually those are different. You know, some kids tell me, they go to bed whenever they want to go to bed at home. They can hit their each other their house. They can use bad words in their house. They can steal from one another. They can be rude and mean and disrespectful in their house. And I have to remind those kids, when you come to school, you can't do that. You can't run all over the halls of the school. You may, you may be able to run in your house. You may be able to use your outside voice when you're inside your house. You may yell, you may dance around and do whatever you want, run around the rooms, chase each other, but at school, it's totally different. Now, at school though, that's another place. At school, you cannot run. We are inside a learning place. We come to listen. We don't come to play. It's not home. It's not daycare. School has very important rules you must follow. So we're going to talk about some of those rules. So remember, when you walk in the doors of the school, everything changes. You're not outside. You're not at home. You're at daycare. Your behavior has to change. The way you walk has to change. The volume of your voice, how loud your voice is, has to change. You can't put your hands on anybody because that's not your brother in class. That's not your sister in your class. You have to keep your hands to yourself. You have to wait to speak. You have to have a grown-up tell you when you can talk and when you can speak. And you just can't get up and run around there. You have a seat you have to sit in. You can't choose your own seat. You can't. Do what you want to do because there's some very important rules that every child has to choose to obey at school. So school, so everyone can learn and school can be a great place to learn. All right, let's look at some rules, classroom rules that Miss Laduna Tate has in her classroom. And we're going to have some first graders explain, talk to those, talk to us about those rules. It is so important to obey your classroom rules. These are some third grade rules from Miss Laduna Tate's room. But I have first graders that are going to read them to us. We love to obey at Forest Hill Elementary School. Number one. Remain in your assigned seat. Very good. Number two. Keep your hands, feet, and objects to your 
Sue. Very good. Number three. Number three. Good, number four. Who's gonna do number three? Good. She didn't say this one. This you, you can do it. Go ahead. Awesome. Keep your chair on all four legs. Great readers in first grade, Miss Bowman's class. All right, number five. Be respectful to everyone. Awesome, y'all. Take a bow. Y'all did a great job. Woo! We're so proud of our first grade readers reading. Three. Okay. We choose to obey when we're in the classroom. We choose to obey when we're getting ready to leave the classroom. We can choose to obey in the ha hallway. We can choose to obey in the cafeteria. We can choose to obey on the bus. We make so many choices all day, and I'm hoping that you're choosing to obey and that you've already decided, hey, today I'm going to O-B-E-Y, obey. Today I'm going to O-B-E-Y, obey. Let's look at this line of students getting ready to leave the room and let's see if they're making good choices in line. We make a thousand choices, haha, <laughs> maybe not a thousand choices every day at school. We make choices every time we stand in line. You're about to see some students make good choices in line and some students make not so good choices in line. Uh-oh. All right, students, show me those choices. Uh-oh. Which are the students making good choices and which are the students making choices that are not good? Think about it. Look, watch. What are they doing? Oh my goodness. I'm so glad that other students are ignoring them. See the students ignoring them? They're not turning around. They're not looking at them. They're doing the right thing. Hands in their pockets, being still, not moving around, not turning around. I see a student turning around backwards. I see a student trying to talk to the student in front of them. Uh-oh, uh-oh, consequences are coming. Every choice has a consequence. You know, sometimes when children don't obey the rules and they get in trouble or they get sent to the principal's office or their parents get a phone call, they wanna cry and like, oh, or blame someone else, you know? Um, they get upset when they can't ride the bus anymore. They get upset when they lose some time in pee or they get upset um, when they have to sit out during PE or for a few minutes or they get upset um, when they don't get an SS, you know, when their clip is dropped, when their behavior grade drops. But when you make the choice, you choose the consequences. You choose what falls. It's too late when you make the wrong choice to say, well, he did it first. Or, no, you cannot blame anybody else for your choices. Your choices are your choices. No one makes you obey and no one makes you disobey. No one makes you listen. You make the choice to listen. No one makes you hit. You make the choice to hit if you hit. And I hope and pray you don't hit. No one makes you talk about somebody else. No one makes you be rude or mean or disrespectful. If you do those things, you make the choice to be rude. You choose to be mean and you choose to be disrespectful. You don't have to do that. If you get out of your seat or you put your hands on another student or you call them a mean name, you made those choices. You're choosing not to shine. You're choosing to be rain instead of sunshine. Remember that? You're choosing to bring clouds and lightning and thunder to our school. You're not choosing to be your best self. You're not choosing to shine. The rules of the school are important and they're meant to, uh, to be obeyed. When we keep our hands to ourselves, 
If we keep our mouths closed, we focus on learning, keep our eyes on our teacher at all times, avoid those distractions, choose to, to, choose to try, choose to do our best. We choose not to talk. We choose not to put our head down. We choose to try. We are going to be our best self. We're going to move forward and great things are going to happen for us. So today, if you need to make new choices, if you didn't make some great choices yesterday, guess what? It's a new day. It's a new day to make better choices and to be your best self. Have an amazing day. We love you here at Forest Hill Elementary. We are so glad you're here. We believe in you and you have the power to obey today. You have the power to make great choices today. Remember, O-B-E-Y, obey.